OpenAI has just introduced a brand new web crawler known as GPT Byte, and the company has announced that they want to also release the next iteration of its language model, which will be referred to as GPT 5. This brand new web crawler, which goes by the name GPT Bot, is an essential component in OpenAI's efforts to improve the functionality and performance of its more complex language models, such as GPT 4 and the forthcoming GPT 5. GPT Bot's primary function is to scour the internet for text data and extract it from a variety of websites. GPT Bot ensures that the data it collects is of high quality while also being respectful of the rights and privacy of individuals by adhering to a certain set of rules and principles. It investigates websites that can be accessed without the need to break through a paywall or log in with a login and password beforehand. It steers clear of sites that include personally identifiable information, hate speech, violent content, or pornographic content. By adding certain lines to the robots.txt file of their respective websites, owners of websites may give GPT-Bot instructions not to crawl their sites. The capability of GPT-Bot to collect more data, which in turn makes it possible to construct and train more effective language models, is the key to understanding the relevance of this tool. These models are capable of performing remarkable tasks linked to natural language processing, including the generation of text, the summarization of information, the translation across languages, and the answering of complicated queries. Following the releases of GPT-3.5 and GPT-4, the next significant language model from OpenAI is anticipated to be GPT-5. This model will be the fifth in a GPT series. Despite the fact that there is very little information available about GPT-5, OpenAI submitted a trademark application for it to the United States Patent and Trademark Office, so the USPTO, in July of 2023. This application encompasses a large variety of AI and language modeling technologies, which is an indication that OpenAI is actively working on developing it. It is believed that GPT-5 will be far more advanced than GPT-4 in terms of size, precision, and adaptability. The number of parameters that make up GPT-4 is currently 175 billion, and it is anticipated that GPT-5 will have an even greater number of parameters, maybe even reaching into the trillions. Because of its expanded size, GPT-5 would be able to retain more information and have a higher capacity for memory than any human individual. It is anticipated that GPT-5 will be able to do more than GPT-4 did in terms of its capabilities. It has the potential to achieve previously unachievable levels of precision and fluency, generating written and spoken language that is even more analogous to human communication. GPT-5 may also have better adaptability, including improved multimodal capabilities, which would enable it to deal with multiple forms of input and output, such as text, voice, pictures, and code. This would be possible if it had improved multimodal capabilities that also had the ability to synchronize with platforms and tools provided by third parties, which made it more flexible to a variety of applications as well as industries. Even while there is no official release schedule for the GPT-5, judging on the release cycles of previous models, it is possible that it will be available at some point in the not-too-distant future, potentially even before the end of the year. However, it is vital to realize that these are educated estimations, and it is possible that the actual release date might be influenced by unanticipated advances in the field of artificial intelligence. It is difficult to provide a definitive answer to the issue of whether or not GPT-5 will attain artificial general intelligence, so AGI, which refers to the capacity to learn and grasp everything that a human person is capable of doing. Although there have been some early reports and conjectures stating that GPT-5 might attain AGI by the end of 2023, the majority of scientists and researchers consider this hypothesis to be very improbable and believe that it is still too early to make a prediction. We are probably still a good number of years away from having artificial general intelligence, so AGI, and GPT-5 will have to contend with a wide range of challenges and restrictions. Notably in domains like generalization, reasoning, common sense, and ethical issues. If GPT-5 is able to approach AGI, it may be able to boost productivity and creativity via the automation of activities and the provision of individualized information and services that are interesting and compelling. However, there are also substantial hazards, such as the potential for the dissemination of false information, propaganda, manipulation, and ethical problems. Other risks include the possibility of physical harm. The influence that GPT-5 obtaining AGI will have is up for discussion, and perspectives on whether this will be a positive development or a possible obstacle may vary widely.
In general, the trajectory of GPT-5 and how it may or may not affect the development of AI is a topic that is both fascinating and difficult. And it would be interesting to hear your thoughts on the subject. Feel free to leave your ideas in the comment section. And if you find the information presented here to be useful, please like and share this video with your friends. A more in-depth discussion of recent developments in AI will be available on my channel, so be sure to subscribe. I want to thank everyone for watching and I look forward to continuing our conversation in the subsequent video.